Sega. Alright everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... This is my Lieutenant Rukir at your survey. Hold on, hold on, something's wrong yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me a sec on this. And... Poof and poof. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back oh. to Dawn of War 2 Retribution, where, well, we'll be continuing with the, the Tyranids. For a great consumption. <laughs> now, now, there's no need to go <laughs> trying to summon Walmart. Food for the food table. <laughs> Command Vox again, wanting a report. That's the fourth time this week. We keep giving them dead air, and it won't be long before they decide to stop by. They gotta be wondering who's accepting their munition drops, after all. They can fox every minute until doomsday if they please. We will not respond. You have heard the whispers. You'll know, oh, Oak, the will, the voice. We are his now. He is here. Well, they have forsaken us. If they, if anybody wants these munitions, wants this meat, they must take it from us. Of course, closer, for Oak here. Yeah, you, you can hear that that guy is still doubting, but yeah, I do gotta say so far that uh, this campaign has been the least interesting so far, at least story-wise, since it's basically just the Hive Lord going on a road trip around the sector to basically consume everything, which doesn't leave too yeah. much for, well, <laughs> much story. Yeah, it's, do it does give her maybe an insight to, or a limited insight of what they allow to show since reveal about too much about the Tyranids would we'll probably destroy the scary factor about them. Probably. Uh, I'm still. <clears throat> Intruders at checkpoint Tertius. All forces to arms. Gun them down! Bring their flesh to the keep! Old Care shall feast this eve! I still think this could have been done more interesting, or at least the story with the Tyranids could have been done more interestingly. But yeah, they only had a short they only had a rather short time to work with this game. And well, six <laughs> there's five different campaigns that are a lot more interesting than these, so I guess we can excuse one quote unquote bad one. Yeah, do Belly Tune is not the worst one. No. There's one that got the most underworked by accident. And that be? Or sort of. Like the Eldar. Okay. Uh, there was a video that so, came out recently on YouTube to Red back to this game. Did you see that one perhaps? Uh, do you mean by Thundercycle? Yep. I actually, after, I watched a few of his videos and I still realized I know that name, I know that voice, and it dawned on me. He's Kitten! <laughs> yeah, okay. From text to speech! Uh. <laughs> okay. 
you were so close. yeah, you accidentally show us videos from the damn voice actor from If the Emperor Had Takes to Speech. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, still overall I'd say that this is still a good game, though uh, in general I would still prefer, well, Chaos Rising and the other, <laughs> and the base game. It's yeah, just that it feels a little, well, th this game feels rather undercooked on certain sides. If, if they were to make remasters of 1 and 2, I couldn't see them in implement missing levels and things they want to have done, if not for the time constraint. Probably. For... Turrets are definitely a very good fun gameplay. Or as I said in the other streams, limited story is expected. Yeah. Manticore batteries, vengeance and justice, crush them beneath your rockets! It could, it could have been made more interesting by maybe make, even with even putting aside the fact that there isn't really much story going on besides consumed they could have they could have made different uh, missions for the tyranids where they don't go through the same stuff as the others just because and that they're more uh, yeah more similar to maybe dawn of war one where it would basically be uh, yeah kill every other faction on the map, or maybe that would be closer to uh, Dark Crusade and such. The, the more risk-like expansions for the first game. Yeah, or... They could always go, as I said before, with the Gene Steel Coats. Yeah. Since then there would at least be banter between the characters. Like, sure, you probably have them game all cult-like, but there will be some form of banter and strategy and... Uh, oh, yeah, the, the, the characters would have personality. Yeah, or, yeah like, a bit more personalities. Yeah. But we've gone over that a few times now already. So it, let's try and oh, focus, yeah. just continue more... Just continue to focus on this. And... and Again, maybe if they, maybe you could have the Tyranids still run through the same levels, but give them different side missions. Because we, we just don't have any side missions at all, so that really makes this one yeah. stand out. Yeah, so it is probably due to, it may, not, it may not be needed since you only have one hero taking all the experience, so they probably have to rebalance the experience gain for the two needs. True, but even then there's still the fact about loot and such that you can get from yeah. the other miss. Which again would probably be lesser, since we only have the main character, but... Uh, yeah, no. it, it, it's a whole mess with this campaign. Yeah. Do we have found some extremely high-level loot we can't even use yet until near the end of the game? Yeah, which makes me feel that they really had to rush this one. Also, let's see, destroy the manticores. We know that there's one over here, plus there's a hive for us to capture. Yeah. Hmm. Again, I will applaud the gameplay for it does feel tyrannid and it does kind of feel terrifying as well. If you think it in the... From Guardsman's perspective. Yeah. But probably didn't expect to when it's here. And I, I, will at least, I will at least applaud them somewhat for having Gabriel narrate things and having things be a bit different in that while well, the, the planets we're leaving behind are actually getting actively overrun by Tyranids now. But again, it could have been done better but to counter against that again, it's clear that they had to cut corners at some point with this game. Yeah. Which is more something you can blame on, well, the people in charge of the company, not the actual people making the game. Yeah, yeah and I think... Hmm. It was not Sega who made these games for... I don't think... I think Sega came into the play in the next game. 
Yeah, Ooh. this was still a relic. Though it could also yeah. have been given a deadline by uh, the license holders with Games Workshop. Maybe... Do I do know it was a THQ so or the publisher for this one and they kind of went down shortly after uh, this one. So they and probably ended up having to rush them for... Well, they kind of needed the, the, the money quickly. Yeah. And this, this also is the fact that this playing as the Tyranids feels a lot uh, easier than the other factions so far. Yes. Do it in a good way, I say, for it is Tyranids. We replenish quickly. We swarm yeah. them. Okay, capacity. Okay, we can't get the Carnifax yet. But it, it, if this game were to ever get, get remade, or actually, I, I think it'd be more likely that if uh, Dawn of War 2 ever gets remade, that they probably include both well, Chaos Rising and Retribution. And my hope is that they do try to expand on everything for every... <clears throat> for every campaign a bit, or every faction, to actually split the campaigns a bit more. Yeah, for most things are good, like, it is well balanced at all. <laughs> he says as we just stormed through with a, a squad of Tyranids that has taken these missions, what, twice as long at least <laughs> with the other factions. But it is the Tyranids, what do you expect? <laughs> they are not the you, Grace. Okay, give all of them the Venom Cannon. I guess you should say they are not a yoke faction. Yeah. No, the old school ones were rather... ...dirty? And actually... ...had diplomacy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that does not fit at all with the currently known Tyranid style. Yeah, with really, really old school instillers were sometimes cooperating with the Chaos, and it was before Gene Steelers were confirmed to be part of the Tyranids. Yes, Gene Steelers and Tyranids were not always the same. And as expected... In the same. Uh, sorry, what? Sport time. Yeah, as expected, none of the crews even got close to their tanks. Uh, <laughs> and why am I having so much lag? You're then there, downstairs probably watching something. That's uh, demanding a lot of broadband from Netflix. Mm. All right, they're about to show, uh, watch Uncharted. Yeah, mm. okay. Mm. But yeah, there, there are just some things with the campaigns that don't make sense, and we'll we'll find one of those points when we get to the Eldar, which maybe we should start after we're done with the Tyranids here. I'm up for that. Okay, that's another one of those the gone. Imperial God in Chaos for Lost. Okay, someone capture that. Rest of you move along. Hmm. I well, just had an idea. <laughs> Go ahead. Like, maybe finally approach Imperial God and Chaos Marines. We take a coin. <laughs> but on each side you glue something, like you gl glue a two-headed bird on one side. They must not take it. And the chaos symbol on the other. Yeah, I don't think that it will be needed, necessary. Yeah, more Plus of a would, way to uh, flip the coin. <laughs> Plus that would uh, likely unbalance the coin towards one side or the other. And yeah, speaking of balance, I do gotta say that this Venom Cannon feels really unbalanced to me since it's effective against both infantry and vehicles. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that is effective against both. 
but it would it does kind of make sense like like a rocket launcher is very effective against a tank when you hit it but we both know that a human will not fare well at all if the best if the rocket hits a human yeah but that one is a bit of an overkill mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, the, the, but the rocket launchers balance that out by being very low accuracy unless they're facing against vehicles. The fact that these are accurate against both, yeah, it, it again just feels to me like they had to rush this last campaign out. Possibly. I will not be surprised if that is actually a thing about the Venom Cannon. But if I remember right, it is a weapon that everyone fears. So it may have a actually a terrifying reputation. Could be. Yeah, and could... while you may feel a bit overpowered, it might actually be that you're doing it correctly. See, residual memory and Hive Lord Stranglethorn cannon. Didn't we find something? I'm pretty sure our Hive Lord is already using something like that. Or at least a Stranglethorn variant. Hmm. Possibly. We'll see what it is once we're done here. But it, at least it's also interesting to just have a unit, you know, to have a, an army that is actually mostly ranged focused. Instead of balancing it out. So I, I might try that with... Uh, some of the other factions, if possible, with the, the, the war gear drops and such. I'm surprised we don't have more melee fighters, like... I expect them to go full Zerg. Yeah, we can, depending on what we bring along for, you know, at the deployment and such, and well, what we summon up from the, the, from the hives ourselves. Yes, yes, shut up, old care. We're going to put the cap back on you. I'm feeling that over there. Demon is not going to be happy, but as a swarm of tears is coming over, for that would probably block him from uh, appearing. And just to have a bit more melee, let's actually bring in us some swarms. Let's see, let's actually group all of these together and sing with these. Yeah, now I know I misheard you. Mm -hmm. What did you hear? For some reason, my brain raised that you said sing with these. I thought, no, that's not what he said. Then again, I did wake up too early, I did not realize it until after I finished eating my breakfast. I realized, oh, I went a bit of on a half an hour too early. Yes, yes! Come on, believers! All care welcomes all! <laughs> it's also just I the mean, fact that people are reacting to the Tyranids as if they were, well, any of the other factions. Like, generally the reaction would be more like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, get me the fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah, like, like the first mission was very well done for the Tyranids, in response. Yeah. Mission in fourth day when you did not have a synapse lord or something like that, the High Lord here. Yeah, but that's because each of the first missions for every faction is, well, a lot more hand-tailored to them. Yeah, they, they should have done that a bit more. And there is still the fact that factions will respond, uh, some in some levels, factions, uh, things will be slightly different depending on your factions, like what we saw with the Space Marines in this level, which will likely be similar when we come here with the Imperial Guards, but still those are only small touches. Also, we're getting suppressed. I'm 
Not that it matters. <laughs> Death comes for all. May, may my flesh fester and rot and give life anew for Nurgle. Yeah, you do know who you're monologuing to, right? They're just going to nom you up and turn you into another. <laughs> Another Hormagons. Mm. It, it, it could make me just also be... <laughs> yep, the hive mind is actually been... <laughs> congratulating us on each victory here. Let's see. Spore cysts. Bloated cysts on the hive lord's carapace which accommodates reduction in dispersion of spore mines. Okay. I, I, I will at least give them points for... All the all the stuff that we can use for the by uh, for the hive lord, but I I think to a certain point it might also have been that they just didn't know what the hell to do with the tyranids for this, and that is why it feels so bare boned. Like they basically had no idea what to do. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. As I said before, it's not an easy faction to right make for. A story for. Yeah. Okay, 15% dam range damage reduction. A dense vision choking cloud of spores emits from the back of the Hive Lord, similar to that exhumed by Venom Thropes. Or th Venom Thropes? Thropes? <laughs> and hello there in chat, Glacier Boy. How are you doing today? Hello, um, Glacier Boy! Okay, then we have experience gain and the Hive Lord's Stranglethorn Cannon. Let's see. AoE, suppression, ignores cover, ignores garrison. Slows enemy infantry and extra range damage. Let's see, doing well. Uh, doing well as well, Glacier Boy. Uh, let's doing see. Well as well. The vines erupting from this cannon seed pods are thicker and can intelligently adapt to the victim's <laughs> attempts to break free, further restricting any possible movements. And screaming biomatter. Oh, donate to improve Carnifaxis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see, Helium, what's in what in God's name has happened to Rakir? A close encounter with the Tyranids. He ate it. Food for the food table! Biomass for the biomass! Okay, so we can choose between a, pro a protective carapace. Uh, a strange biomorph first seen among the Yurmagal gene stealers. This carapace can thicken and become unimaginably, unimaginably tough. Or Carnifax. I think it's a pretty easy choice. Carnifax! Okay, okay, of course I we can't use this they, Sorry, uh, sorry. I, I want to say, I do think they did somewhat well with the Heimat. Now we see it, Heimat is l not as simple word as we thought. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Charge, Romagons, Bioplasma Barrage, Gene Stealers. Let's see. I think we, I think we were planning on going down the... the the offense lane. Um, immune to suppression. We'll charge in the combat. Leap over. Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking at least up to here with the bioplasma barrage. And then we can also get, uh, yeah, this spore carapace, which will let <laughs> Tyranids and Cinebrames immune to suppression and will charge into combat to leap over cover. Now, that is going to be useful against things behind cover. Uh, even though we've been mostly going melee, or not melee ranged, um, there well, this one is can also do melee on. without a damn problem. Just look at this thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, charge, and now we can use this thing, and let's give it a shot. It's not. It's different than a venom cannon we've been using. Ignores cover, ignores garrison. Damn it, like that. Oh, bloody heck, that looks disgusting. Yeah, even more so than the other one, because this one isn't firing crystals, it's firing seed pods. I must react to what's on the other hand. 
And apparently this thing reminds Glacier Boy of a friend's ex. <laughs> But uh, from the sound, I'm gonna guess they mean the high mind? No, the, uh, no, no, they didn't say that, but I'm presuming they mean the hive lords. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Hearts. Don't think I'll swap these out. So let's continue on to Meridian, which has so far been untouched. <laughs> which is not going to be that lucky for long. Priority box channel Secundus. Lord Ascendant, I lead the faithful assaulting Capital Spire. I am pleased to report that the Spire's defenders have fallen. They were unprepared for an attack from within. We shall hold the Spire and await your transmission bearing further instructions. Glory to the Ascendant. Glory to Corn. Okay, now the hive mind is taking note of Kyrus again. Boy! <clears throat> Let's see, Raveners, or the Zoanthrope, Tyrant Guard, or Lictor. Hmm. Oh. Here. Let's actually From go with Glacier that. Boy, I almost finished painting my Iron Warriors a spring ship. All right. Pleasure Boy got the first Warhammer figures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do share pictures of those on the server when you're done, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Assailants, push them back. Do not let them gain a foothold on the spire. Licked who? Now he's joking about the name of the Lictor. Oh. Okay, here we go. He's gonna push through this again, deal with all of the freaking bombardments. But with how speedy we are going, that should not be much of a problem. Okay, as usual with this. Pull back that Lehman Russ and regroup. Again, I don't know what is so specifically special about this one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we get to destroy like half a dozen. Okay. Right, someone capture that. And the rest move on to harass the lines here. Yeah, let's see, Glacier Boy, I'll send pics when I'm done. Hopefully I, I get some more glue to finish my legionaries. Open a box with their support and stand by. If they encroach the HQ, I want the sky to fall on them. I'm gonna turn legionaries and then build my possessed space marines and the cursed cultists. Okay. Very clearly who you've gone with as a faction. Okay. Now, do we have enough? No, we do not have enough. Yeah, even if we did, we there's not enough room. Right, not enough okay. room. With, how much did it cost in population? Thirty. Oh. No, we hopefully we'll get enough during the mission. Probably. There is at least one. There's, yeah, there's at least one population upgrade over here. I just saw a very big ball of something just explode and fly. Let's see. Okay, shield wall and rampage. I and mean, of course, okay, it makes sense that it stops off on this, the freaking tank. Yeah, you can make it the uh, ruler and tank. All right. Now we just gotta tear this thing apart. 
which is going slower now that uh, the hive tyrant isn't having isn't using <clears throat> a venom cannon as well but with the strangle thorn thing they should the, the strangle thorn cannon they should be a lot more effective against enemies that are in garrisons and such so, okay apparently we missed one and let's see how this goes uh oh Okay, basically two shots then. <laughs> okay. I gotta say that the zoanthrope so far has been the least useful, but that's because it doesn't have any of its abilities yet. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, again, they, they could have made this campaign more interesting if they'd given us a few alphas to work with. Like an alpha zoanthrope, alpha lictor, make you know, give them a few abilities that normal one or just enhanced abilities compared to the other ones. But uh, well, hmm. so if we tell you to target that thing, run, Actually pulled back for a sec to capture that. And as good as the as good as the voice acting for the hive mind is, I can't really tell what the hell they're trying to say during most of these. Yeah, I, I can confirm it is a woman doing the the hive mind's voice acting, and she does it rather well, I would say. Yeah, it's of course heavily do. edited, but still. Yeah, you do feel rooted for her voice. <laughs> or they still would have me a tone for them to do that work with. Yeah. It looks like we're just heavily weakened on the anti-vehicle front, so I might turn. Th I might. The I might put the venom cannon back on the high lords, since again it's rather broken in the balance. Uh, Lazy Boy, they sound like they really need to cough to clear their throat. Kinda. Go, hmm, but all that we want. The thing I kind of wonder is why that weapon's overpower sense, they only have one Lord hero. Valkyrie is hot and on approach. Mm -hmm. So having a heat. Uh, the high would be near jack of all trades might be necessary. True, but, but again, that doesn't explain why the you know, that doesn't explain why it's broken for the normal units that do it as well. Uh, again, unless it is again supposed to be that like that on tabletop that it tries to transfer over. Yeah, I I doubt that. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> that would be quite unbalanced, unless it's like really expensive to uh, equip have units with that. Well, don't forget dice rolls. Uh, no, not hormigons. And if Carnifacts. you ever played Yachty, I think you know how mean dices can be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, someone has is having a seizure in there. And here comes the Carnifax. But yes, similar to how we've been unlocking other honor guards or starting squads, I think it could have worked if the if for this campaign we'd have gotten or we would have been unlocking different uh, hero classes. <clears throat> and you can get out of that now. As we went, like we finding a new strain for uh, a lictor and making it an alpha lictor through that and such. But yeah, I'll just speculation on what could have been, which we <laughs> we isn't really that useful to do. 
What, why do you have to remind me of the new strain of lictors, the Von Ryan lictors? <laughs> Nightmare fuel, as a spook off. Yeah. <laughs> like a bit lictor, but Foster, Aga, and it's not a loner, but a pack holder, and for some reason have spider mandibles on each side of the tentacle maw. Make it look like a Cthulhu Fred alien thing. Just right. scarier than the Fred alien see in the movies. If we can turn a Carnifax into a ranged unit as well. <laughs> okay. Yes. That, that, that's where the orc part on them comes from. <laughs> Yeah, it is quite the underbite that they do have, like orcs. Yeah, but also this spore pot becomes... Yeah. Yeah, the uh, artillery. Okay. Last time we accidentally skipped this bit, so for the experience, let's also just go destroy the air bunker. Yeah, let's do that for experience, as we want as much of it as possible. <laughs> and I've still got that damn sun stuck in my head! <laughs> uh, I listened to a few songs uh, earlier, one of them were a song from Glory Hammer. Okay. Uh, oh, his name is a long one. I found a track. The Keeper of the Celestial Flame. Okay, that's a f <laughs> definitely a name that's straight out of a fantasy book somewhere. If you're watching the music video, they go from fantasy to basically their own version of He-Man. So, uh, more, more experience to be gained. As in, fantasy in sci-fi. There we go. Yeah, the Strangle Pods launcher is basically just an organic grenade launcher. Now, moving over here. This still sounds terrifying. You, you, you do remember the description. Yeah. Seed pods and such that it launches. <laughs> oh, God. I just realized there's something that would actually be terrifying to see. No, oh, even more than the usual Tyranid stuff. First person playthrough who is a, a, one of the very students. Uh, you know, yeah. from the view where you can see what the heck the weapons do to people. Definitely, yeah. Actually, as you realize, there is one weapon in the in, in gaming that is probably the closest thing to one of the children with weapons we have. New. Half life. Uh, yeah, that uh, that bug gun or something. You mean the original yeah. Half-Life or two? I forgot which one it has it, but I do know if one of them has it, and that's probably the closest we get. Yeah, we, and that probably is even tame compared <laughs> to the two in this version. Yeah, but I I know at least Half-Life 2 has uh, the handline spores, but Half-Life 1 has an outright bug weapon that <laughs> you operate by shoving your hand up its ass. Yeah, I can be losing brood warriors. Ooh, hello. Warp corroding. Warp corroding venom cannon, okay. All the more reason to swap back to one, it sounds like. Warp corroding. Warp corroding. Warp corroding venom cannon. Yep. <laughs> Again, if there's something this. I mean, the only thing I think we should praise this campaign for is. pointing out how terrifying the children are. Yeah. This is the Ascendant, Azariah Kairos. Marvelously done, Sergeant. Your slaughter of your own brothers in arms shall bring much favor from Khorne. 
Without its center of administration, Meridian is as helpless as a babe set upon by wolves. Remain stationed there and repel any invaders. Your reward for your faith shall be forthcoming. Skulls to Korn. Before any other, it was the hive mind that recognized the true extent of Azariah Kyrus' threat to the subsector. Normally, an individual would go unnoticed, but Kyrus' machinations somehow dulled and darkened the hive mind's awareness. The swarm understood. To consume the subsector, Kyrus, Malefactor, and Antithesis must be destroyed. Also, I'm getting the feeling that that message... We're either finding a recording of it in the command center, or it got sent out with... or it was just... basically just... Yeah, it arrives with a delay or something. And well, with the whole warp shenaniganery, that might actually be the case. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I think he just arrived on his when he the guy he was dying on his ground. He was laying there, died, and he he hears the Vox call. As we go, fuck's sake, a bit late <laughs> now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we get Psychic Stream, a biomorph that allows the Hive Lord to unleash a deadly blast of psychic energy that stuns all nearby enemy infantry. Okay, it would be a lot more useful if we were going with the melee build, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see from Glitch Boy. So he was so bad that the galaxy even did... Bad for the galaxy... Okay, I'm going to try that. So he was so bad for the galaxy that even the Tunis High Mind knew he had to die and be destroyed. Basically. Uh, kind of... I promise you move. The, t the High Mind knew this was a fruit for his fridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically, the hive mind. The, basically, the hive mind looks like the sec. You know, looks at the sector like it's uh, a, f a full course meal, and Kyrus is a rat that's trying to run off with two of the plates. Now he's trying to run off with the fridge. <laughs> Let's see. Warp corroding venom cannon, level ten venom cannon, one hundred oh, plus one hundred and twenty damage to demons. Yeah, we're bring we're definitely bringing that into the last mission. An increased rate of fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the perfect oh. weapon to putting Kyrus back into the grounds. Let's see. When High Fleet Leviathan attempted to consume Sondham uh, 5, it found the demon prince Makar the Reborn had already claimed the world as his own. Faced with powerful demons of the warp, the hive mind created a temporary biomorph to contend with their warp spawn flesh. <laughs> and then we have Chitinous Carapace, plus 50 health, 20% flame damage resistance. I think that's the first time we've seen flame damage resistance, and 20% range damage resistance. Uh, the plates of this carapace harden into thick ablative layers that provide exceptional protection from impacts and intense heat and radiation. Okay. Yeah, as high, yeah, as Tyranids strip uh, planets of all life, they also strip it of the atmosphere, so they would be less shielded from... You know, they would be less shielded... Actually, no, that would be the magnetic core that would affect that. Is there a I think we have an optional mission now. It's Sawtooth's Crushing Claw. The serrated edges of these Crushing Claws are composed of extremely dense diamond heart chitin capable of grinding and ripping the toughest armor with contemptuous ears. Zoentrope Warp Fields. Activate a protective shield. While active, damage received drains energy instead of health. Like most of our, most of our engineer type enemy yeah, units have had these. And the Ravener. Let's see. Enhanced muscle core allows the Revenant to use the Burrow Strike ability. I think we'll prob we should probably go with the Zoentrope since again we're going mostly ranged. So that would actually is that actually just around the yeah probably just around the Zoentrope. But maybe there's something we can do to enhance it to be a an AOE shield or something. But this is more field. Yeah. So it might be an AOE area. Of 
And then we keep <laughs> going. And we finally have an optional mission, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we would say the optional mission, obviously. Definitely, yeah. Also putting that back there. Uh, uh, <laughs> At least it's less disturbing than the other one, huh? I was only able to see that due to lag. So let me see it. Yeah, it's just that it's back to the Venom Cannon. <clears throat> yeah, but you can put it back on so I can see it at least. Oh dear. Oh, hell. Let's see. Um, hmm. I do wonder what happens if we have multiple of these, like the Hormagons and <clears throat> Thermagons upgrade. Like, will it summon both, or will one of the two override the other? Wait, that is it. Vision Boy, Drakeating the Tunic Cosplay to the next level by eating st st eating on the stream, but it's not it. I, I don't show what you're talking, but I am <laughs> eating on the side. But I try to not talk while chewing, for obvious reasons. Yeah, he, he's pretty much eating during every stream. Level 4 Venom Cannon, Rending Claws for Gene Stealers, increasing melee damage, and an upgrade for the Lictor. Vanguard removes the energy drain from the Lictor's infiltrate ability. Which would be more useful if, well, we had more use for the Lictor actually being sneaky. <laughs> Let's see. Let's bring the Lictor back anyway, since the Tyrant Guard really doesn't do anything special anyways and it takes up more capacity yeah and as gene steel squad sound useful <clears throat> as a reward oh how why have we Boss, looks like a fire came to us after all. What? Well, keep him off the power notes. Daisy ain't ready yet. Of all the factions that I would expect to react like that to Tyranids, yeah, it would be the orcs. They don't give a damn that it's Tyranids, only that it's a fight. Yeah, they're usually equal eager to fight Tyranids since. It's usually always a stalemate at that, that point, and uh, yeah, folks love that. Yep. But they get a fight, and the enemy just gets more and more biomass. <laughs> and now I'm just thinking, how would a par you know that uh, song "Gangster P Paradise"? Now I'm wondering what oh, uh, oh. <laughs> an, an orc yeah, parody of that would sound like. Good question. But I do want to repeat, they are orc gene stealers. Yes, they only all the gene stealers they they move around in space like pirates and spread their spores for Yeah, they cannot be in the uh, hiding in an orc town for that it will be they will be noticed too quickly by the other orcs. Yeah. <laughs> Easy to do that with the uh, high uh, cities where the other geese these are. Hmm. Now I'm a bit curious, what would happen if two gene cults would meet? 
Would they work together or work, you know, would they compete? Would they work together? Hmm. It, 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 it might depend on the cult. Paul. Oh, I, I forgot the name of this specific Eastern cult, but they were preaching that they were worshipping the Emperor, he was coming, and apparently in, in their eyes, the Emperor was a Tyranid. Yeah, of course. And <clears> yeah, <throat> the, it, the... Quote-unquote, Star Emperor, or whatever they call it, consumed the planet. I honestly would be interesting. Uh, I honestly would be interested in a game where you act, where there's actually competing gene stealer cults, like that they're from a uh, different uh, high, uh, from different high fleets, and see how that goes. Well, I would imagine they sort of avoid each other. True. So, I could see a lot of gene steel cults. Competing with underworld criminals at times. That they definitely would do. And let's see, Glacier Boy. I like to imagine that different Genesler cults have a friendly competition when they meet. <laughs> That's also an option. <laughs> and I guess. Hmm. They, they are not linked to the hive minds. Implant attack. Okay. No, they're, well, at least they're not directly linked to the hive minds, so they would they wouldn't recognize each other as uh, allies, though I think. Uh, yes and no, for they're still being led by gene stealers and patriarchs and matriarchs. True. So there is someone or something giving some guiding hands to a lesser high mind. That we connect to the greater high mind where the uh, high fleet uh, spawns close to the to tell them the world's ready, the world's gonna come and pick up your uh, pick up or whatever you say with fast food. <laughs> take out is here. <laughs> yeah, take out, th th thank you. So, in this case, well, you, you need you need to uh, actually. Uh, you can't do that with pizza, so not that you call, then you can drive over to them and pick it up or have them come over to you and deliver it. Yeah, but for that there would need to be enough of a high... There would need to be a high fleet close enough to even uh, bring up the connection. So I, yeah. I would not be surprised if uh, there would actually be a rival gene stealer cults. <laughs> Unsure for his the thing with Gene Stealer Cults. They very they work planet wide. So yeah, they, so yeah, they will basically work in the shadows and making sure everything is prepped and ready when the high fleet comes close enough. And then they yeah. are ready to sabotage everything to hell! <laughs> Including stealing, sabotaging planetary defenses, stealing tanks and use them themselves! Boy, yeah, that's pretty if you is stealing what we done rightfully stole. Boys, get in there and take that note back! Yeah, I was say this is put is one of the rare occasions you can see Yin Steelers and Tyranids fighting with Lehman Russ and laser weapons. Let's see, not enough for another pair. Okay, here we go. And yeah, this is kind of another mission where I'd say that it doesn't really make sense for the Tyranids to be doing this unless they are quite literally going to be feeding on the power from the generators or something. Hmm. Do you know anything about that if they can actually just feed on power itself or electricity and such? But they can they are like stone, stone and tropes and other areas they can 
basically sack you to death. A lot of specialty variants, but they may be smart enough to know the others want the power, so they are uh, taking it, using it, and glad to use it as bait to lure in the orcs and others. Yeah. Yes. Okay. My mind is not stupid. Like, I think I, I told this before, but during the first recorded invasion, which they gave them the name, the, the Imperial God suddenly noticed that one of their planetary master cans stopped firing. They looked over and see that the damn thing got plugged in by flying tyranny, just swarming in and plugging the damn pipe. Yeah. Or barrel, you mean I think. one? Yeah, I, I think you mean the barrel, because yeah. it's not called a pipe. Yeah, the barrel, yes, but basically the damn thing misfired badly. Yeah, let's see, Glacier Boy, it's like how different mind flayers have different hive minds because they belong to their own elder brain. Yeah, I, I think if if you were to get Geesler cults belonging to different uh, high fleets on the same planet somehow, that they would compete. Yeah, and they still debate that there is one high mind or several for... For people still to try and figure out why they sometimes fight each other. Each why other? Why some high fleet... Wait, wait, what? You fight each other, you mean to yeah. say? Yeah, for that, there has been drag cases. So most of them just avoid each other. But there is one hybrid that seems to specialize in hunting other tyrannids. Okay, but and that would add on. <laughs> that would add on the likelihood of their cults already also fighting each other. Yeah, but people feel as that high fleet is probably doing that to reabsorb weakened strains. Like, but they wouldn't attack weakened high fleets. Should be. Like, there, we know there are. We, there's the major high fleets, and I believe then there are just splinters that are just smaller and such. Yeah. Hmm. And then remember, they, one of the. I don't think I forgot to say this, Steve, but one of the good comparisons to think about the high fleet is kind of see it like a one body. And these, the blood cells, like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, blood, what was it, white cells and red cells? Yeah, though that does go against what you just said, where they are they actively fight between each other. So I, I'm guessing there might be one singular hive mind, but that's it is fragmented or its atten its attentions are split to. Uh, too much, so that it actually subdivides or something. Yeah, it's... or apparently it is, provided this is canon, at least one moment apparently by a tyranny defy the high mind. I still need to watch the video and see what the heck is that is about. Hmm. But do remember, uh, they are very obviously so alien that whenever the people the psychos try to connect and read their minds they instantly go mad or die yeah <sighs> or they just go in and just nope nope too much too much and just barely escape but heavily mentally damaged from it Okay, kind of skip this one here, but uh, well, it's just extra resources. But yeah, I definitely recommend people to look up a tyranny lore and all that for. They are more than just bugs. Yeah, and again, just call them bugs is kind of intriguing. They got another power node. Oh well, that's just greedy, that is. Oh, I'm sending in the big dagger. I take it back. Oh dear. Yep. But yeah. <laughs> they have many nicknames at this point. Yeah, basically, you could 
one way, easy way to think you know, of the Tyranids is uh, the orcs if they stop being funny. That's putting it very, very lightly. Yeah. <laughs> Not even close. Like I know, I know what you're trying to say, but that's kind of like the. I would say the two is a way worse than that. Yeah, but it's it's a good starting point. A uh, small step, I guess. One small step. Uh, one big step to the demon table. <laughs> oh yeah, it's also mm. spooky indeed in their own way. But yeah, one of the meetings I heard people call it metals are oh, space dinosaurs, space bug dinosaurs, space monsters, space it bugs, is. locusts. That's quite inaccurate with uh, the mine drop, because I clicked around here, but it dropped over there. Misfire? Hmm. Bloody heck. Yeah, I think some people have called them uh, xenomorphs, hopefully, but... Hmm? Let's be honest. Hmm. Okay, okay I thought this would be a uh, grenade of sorts, but no. Oh dear. I think most people can agree with me this. A Sinwolf looks like a puppy compared to a Tyranid. <laughs> Let's see, Glacier Boy, although orcs are pretty spooky if you think about them, the misfire was the hive mind having an aneurysm. <laughs> would not be surprised if they'd actually get one trying to deal with Kairos and well, they did say that Kairos is interfering, so it could be that it's rather literally interfering the hive mind with the hive mind. Oh, that, uh, that he's see. doing so much that the hive mind notices it go, get away from my fridge. <laughs> and whatever attack was supposed to come next got oh, <laughs> late. Got it was late. Boys, leg it back to Daisy, sharpish. Kick these thieving magpies off the last note. Is that a note? Is that a little collision thingy? Or... Yeah, we've oh, maxed it out. No, these are just a uh, spawner. Yeah. It's just a nest. Let's see. Okay, uh, Zoentrope, we can capture that. Okay, and we all know how this is going to go. Hmm. And so far we've actually most, we haven't really been swarming that much. So in the next mission, let's try just making as much uh, gaunt type enemies, uh, gaunt type units, and see just how many we can bring on the field. I, I, I just love this, but it, the, the weirdest thing, I, I, I never heard orcs call anything with something closely remotely like Daisy. <laughs> yeah, this one must be a Mario fan. Uh, who's being targeted? Out uh, there. And yeah, we, we can slowly whittle it down. Something we wasn't supposed to hit. That's crazy talk. There's nothing Daisy ain't supposed to hit. Hmm. Actually, now that I think, if there is any, if there is any faction that could likely bring these things down through this thing down through sheer damage, it probably would be <laughs> the Tyranids. I should feel about logically like a Crush them under the death various weaponry. 
close like, to Venom Cannon, so they're basically OP. Yeah, and let's not forget. What's the point? How much do you have time to take you from a warm of angry things flying inside the damn tank? Yeah. Okay, level. Wait, why were there four level ups? Because these are honor guards. Even though they are just normal squads, really. Okay. I drew into something else. And somebody's shooting our. Yeah. Uh, it's going for the lictor. Oh dear God! Get out of the way. <laughs> I feel like, like I have a new few certain friends who will build a daisy if they got a chance. Lictor. Is it inflation boy? Yeah. Lictor. Get in break, position. Bomb cramp. <laughs> there it was. <laughs> That, that's totally not where the lector was, Daisy. Uh, a clarification. I warned Leisure Boy earlier about uh, finger and thumb cramps uh, from uh, making Warhammer models. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah! Oh, my only regret is exploding! Yeah! Uh, the orc voice actors must have had such bloody fun. <laughs> I mean, you won't be the shot heel. Yeah, uh, let's see. Glacier Boy, my dog is called Daisy, so this is throwing me off. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure your dog doesn't come with a death roller or, or multiple turrets. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see. Defensive Synapse improves the Hive Lord's armor and health regeneration as well as enhance, enhancing Synapse, granting these benefits to nearby Tyranids. Okay. Again, would be really good in melee, but we're not going melee. Uh, implant Attack. Chance on critical hit, deal bonus damage, and 30% extra melee damage. Barb Stingers line the Hive Lord's upper scything talents, allowing them to potentially deal devastating internal damage to those struck in melee. Again, not going melee. <laughs> no turrets that you know of. Okay, so... Hmm. Both of these are melee squads that we aren't really using, though we d we are bringing the Lictor instead of the Hive Guard, or the, ty the Tyrant Guard. So, this one... Don't know if this yeah, one is better than the one we have. Hmm. I think you just got, uh, didn't we get enough high level now to use a new weapon or something? Maybe. At level 8, and I know at least one of the weapons is for level 9. Hmm. Yeah, should we just grab this one instead just to be certain that we do have a new weapon? Not that we need extra DPS that much. <laughs> Hmm. Mm, actually, it would be only for... Wait, I can click it away without actually choosing? Okay. <laughs> I need to choose rewards. Okay, so we can click it away, but we can... Okay, it's not that we don't pick... It's not that we pick no reward, it's just that we look away to you know, compare stuff. Uh, let's see, this one is a level 1 Venom Cannon with 110 damage, and the other one is a level 4 with 150-ish. So, yeah, bit... that is a straight upgrade. Yeah, and we are level 8, so next level we can use a new weapon. Yeah. And so, let's get that Bioplasma Barrage. So, yeah, I'm sure we should pick it, or we should just pick an upgrade for one of the Lictors and Gene Stealers. Let's see, there's not too many upgrades left. 
There's the Enhanced Muscle Coil for the Raveners. The Carnifex Thornback upgrade increased health and grants a charge ability to stampede through enemy infantry. Also, the Pheromone Cyst ability. And we can give the Carnifex a Venom Cannon. <laughs> of course! <laughs> And the Zoanthrope can get focused you know, war blast or reconstructive synapse. Okay. Oh, further improves the healing properties of the Zoanthrope synapse aura. Okay, I, I didn't even know that it was giving that. <laughs> hmm. But yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Let's pick a reward then. So. A cannon might be unnecessary. Yeah, it is so a stronger we, we one, but it's it's only a 40 extra damage uh, per hit. Yeah, hmm. we get a better one next level. So we might be better off with Yeen Steel or Lictor. Uh, let's pick... Let's get the Yeen Stealers then, since again, we don't, we're not using stealth. <clears throat> and let's see. Okay, so the hive mind is blinded, and well, we know why, but we'll see in a bit, anyways. Yeah, I I think we'll go for this one with this mission, the focused war blast, to make the zoanthrope more useful. <laughs> uh, still oh, nothing new oh here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's grab all the resources. And yeah, this time let's try and get just as many basic units and just flood the place. Yeah, uh, I think you might be able to finish this game next stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about the, the 48 mi minutes to go. I'd say it would depend on how many optional missions there may still be. What is this? Yeah. Nothing was supposed to find us here. Warhost, hold fast. They must not disrupt the Seer Council. Okay, so there is a bit different uh, dialogue with this. Yeah. Oh, that was the charge ability. Wait, my? Okay, Bioplasma Rods got moved from Q to E. Okay, let's see how that works on that place. <laughs> okay, it's just a triple shot now. <laughs> hmm. Still an improvement. Uh, let's see. Glacier Boy, question. Have you played Mechanicus or Shooter's Blood and Teeth on stream? Uh, I've showcased Mechanicus at one point, and I've, I have I don't own uh, blood, uh, Shooter's Blood and Teeth. I could see us streaming both. Mm. Also, I think I told you this off stream, but uh, I'm sure you didn't notice. But I saw a trailer from something new from the Ori team. All right, you said uh, you said that they made a new game. Yeah. No rest for the wicked. It comes out okay. this March. Or, well, uh, next year, March. The first, okay. I think. I'll go look that up then. And since for... we're speaking of other games anyways, there's been a new 40k game that released called Rogue Trader. And yeah. it, it's been made by the same people who made Pathfinder War of, of the Righteous. So that could definitely be really interesting. Because, well, they made a fucking complex, uh, well, fucking big uh, game with that. Yeah, 
So I guess we may have a few new games to stream uh, again, finally. Yeah, so, when I have the money to buy them, and if I buy them in the first place. Persist. My kin, we shall strike them before vanishing. Prepare yourselves. Yep, dude, you're little. As long as the webway gate remains concealed, we may call in help. I th there is something I always found curious. No. You're using the rave gods, right? They have their own weird things on the back. Yeah, almost like wings. They look, they look surprisingly similar to the ones the high tyrant has. Actually, yeah. Yo, I think they're more supposed to. I suppose I think they're more supposed to represent like a sort of wings instead yeah. of all the. the the spore chimneys, or whatever they were called again. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised that the high, the high fleet have seen that, copied it, but gave it a different purpose. Could be. Let's see, Glacier Boy. Sounds... Oh, go ahead. I was just saying, for many, many chimneys we do, so they have things on the back. It's basically spore chimneys. Yeah, like melee. And yeah. Oh yeah, Glitchful did say something there. Let's see, Broke Trader. Co-op has play air to uh, play as one of the uh, companions. Okay. Alright. And this game also has co-op play where you <laughs> one player you know, each player takes on uh, two of the hero units. Oh dear. Okay, getting a bit spread out. And here come the reinforcements. <laughs> Let's see, all three of you are going to be squad five. Oh, uh, I still see how many got the gene steals out. Like, I know the gene steal from humans and orcs. I'm not be surprised that it will be of Tau soon. Oh, I'm sure already. that it will be probably successful to do that with the Eldar. Hmm. Yeah, Eldar would be really slippery to actually get their uh, talents on. Yeah, but maybe with Exarch worlds, uh, Exodite worlds, those with planets, but a cross world? Yeah, that one is a, a tricky one. But even Elder might be in danger due to the, again, theory about the certain uh, high fleet might be working on a giant web way of their own. Yeah. I feel it, Yamat. Okay, Hive Tyrant cleared it out. Okay. I don't know what was causing it, maybe, but I saw the health bar go just up and down. Maybe that was just from a... Uh, actually, no, they're full rank. They're full... Hmm. Okay, it must have really high regeneration from something, then. Or must have had... <laughs> Anyway, setting up setting up these to be constantly made as soon as we have population, and there is another expander for that over here, so we can just have a fuck ton of termagons after us. Uh, and apparently, the lictor got left behind at some point. Okay, lictor sad. Uh, licking its wounded pride. Okay, break those. Continue here. We know they're going to jump over to this spot next. Actually, maybe we could play around with that a bit. Because we know that when we start approaching here, they're going to teleport over here. So if we send one unit over there to go harass them and chase them off, then they'll spawn in the middle of all of this over here. 
Ooh, I'm actually going to do that. <laughs> and let's see, Glacier Boy, and definitely not getting into Pomerag. Uh, don't know what that is. Uh, the Dark Eldar's uh, yeah, home uh, thingy. Okay. Their home, no, maybe not home world, but their, their home base at least. I think I've heard of it in a lore video. Yeah, it's very unpleasant. That's pretty mildly. Like, if you get captured as a slave and dragged there, no fun times at all. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually going to use the Lictor's Infiltrate to see if I can get close enough to annoy them into leaving. Okay, max capacity. Yep. Really warp spiders jumping into the middle of all of that. And oh, that's the Exarch. Wait, can we just get a kill on you and just cut all of this off? Prepare for mass warp jump. I will move the council to safety. Safety, quote unquote. Brothers. Do not let these invaders find the council again. Uh, again? Uh, hello. <laughs> fools, you blind, murderous fools. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Just imagine that you're teleporting to quote unquote safety and then pop right in the middle of a swarm. Oh dear. Let's see. The brood nest can now be constructed from the global ability bar. It allows nearby Tyranids to reinforce. Okay, but uh, the, oh. hive, uh, the Hive Lord already has something that allows that. But I guess that means we can switch something around. <laughs> Let's see. High density musculature, plus 20 melee skills, 14 movement speeds. If this near her, yeah, the basic description. Focused war blast. Fire a focused uh, psychic blast that deals high damage to a single target, temporarily slows vehicles, and the Carnifax upgrade to give them the Thornback upgrades. Well, it gives them more health and such. Now, I am tempted to go for the Zoanthrope, but. Uh, there's also just the the image of the Carnifex running around, around yeah, running around with venom cannons, and that would be <laughs> utterly hilarious and horrifying. Yeah, wait, have you only used that free upgrade? Yes. All right. I but think yeah, so. I at least the fallback upgrade for that one. You're too <laughs> good to ignore. Yeah, it, it doesn't give them the venom cannons yet, but it is the next upgrade. And okay, we okay. Uh, let's see. Nothing much new here. Okay. Spawn rippers make haste. Okay. Let's see, Glacier Boy, time to add shading to my aspiring champion to make him look grimy and greasy. To think the Tyranids were considered heralds of doom for these worlds. I suppose they still are. Simply not the doom that was first thought. With the meddling of the Eldar halted, I am free to guide the Exterminator's ships into orbit. The Great Devourer. I have prepared a fine feast for you, Xenos. Here is a taste. Okay. Now he, he says something different to each faction. Charge. 
in fealty of the God Emperor, our undying Lord, and by the grace of the Golden Throne, I declare exterminatus upon the Imperial world of Typhon Primaris. I hereby sign the death warrant of an entire world and consign a billion souls to oblivion. <laughs> First time I noticed, there's a little village at the upper end of the screen there. For some reason, they were a bit hesitant to start moving there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just, I just had a bit of a thought as well. Uh, I I think this might explain why the the Tyranids that you, we see here have such different coloring. Because, well, it'd be confusing if we were running around with the Tyranids of our uh, crew. <laughs> These look pretty much the same. But it would be really confusing if they looked the same as ours. Also, the zone trope is going to be having difficulty keeping up. Yeah. Because it's it's out of so it's out of the it's outside of the speed aura. <laughs> Okay. Uh, also, Glacier Boy, do you maybe know of uh, a YouTube channel called North of the Border? Uh, they do modeling work as well, though they use clay instead. But uh, you might be able to get some good tips for how to color stuff from them. Yeah, didn't someone like that actually make an entire space marine from clay or something like that? Yep. <laughs> Also, I should probably give them the Venom Cannons again. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, we have one population expansion up there. So I'm trying to think now if I should go for numbers or just go with a Carnifax. So, <laughs> orcs are probably having the time of their life during all of this. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how much the this gives in population. If we get enough for a Carnifax, we get a Carnifax. And I forgot to swap out the uh, reinforcing thing. It's also pretty cheap to brood nest. Keep moving. Right. No time to play with your food, Lictor. I don't think that was food. That yeah, was an orc. <laughs> they were stabbing to death. Oh, I thought you meant the uh, blood letters. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm actually going to tr uh, see what happens if we put a brood nest down in the middle of the brawl over here. Oh dear. And of course, those get to cross the, the collapsing bridge whilst we can't. Okay. Yeah, if the if the brood nest gets put up quickly enough that it doesn't get destroyed in middle of combat, then we can swap out the uh, biomorph that allows the allows things around the hive tyrant to uh, reinforce with something else. 
And the question will be what to uh, equip it with it instead. Okay. Actually, there's no real need to go capture that. But we can get some more experience off of these ones. And the artifact just has no interest in us at us in us at all. And I I think you could take this in as another example that yeah, there would be infighting between different hive fleets. And through that probably Gene Stiller cults as well. Then again, what happens in games like this is rarely considered canon. Yeah, or is much of this is least canon, less likely like to be. I know. What is this? Do you lowly vermin truly think to escape? <laughs> a better wording would be that uh, games generally have a lower priority when it comes to being considered uh, canon. Uh also, uh, I, someone is stuck. <laughs> someone is stuck in their dialogue. This is a glitch, <laughs> and it seems to be dulling the others, <laughs> other sounds. Oh no! Okay. But yeah, do, do remember, whenever a hive lord and such dies, oh, there will be temporarily confusion among the ranks, and the yin, the tyrannids will attack the, each other temporarily until a, a new uh, hive lord or anything else, uh, another synapse uh, link is established. True, but we have multiple right here with the hive lord and the zoanthrope. And uh, yeah, it's just. <laughs> he is just stuck up there. <laughs> And yeah, no Carnifax because it's not an actual headquarters. Plus, we only got 20 extra hmm, population, so we, we couldn't have even fitted a Hive Lord, uh, uh, a Carnifax if we wanted to. Uh, <laughs> I guess we're just stuck like this now without sounds of combat. Hopefully it it's removed uh, after the mission or soon for let's be honest Yeah, this if would be this... not playable for the rest of the game well, Would be playable, but wouldn't be fun Yeah, it's probably one of those things that are quickly fixed by a restart yep. Or that Okay, that's the first time the game has crashed on us. Yeah. No, 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 I guess we, we, we probably know why. Yeah, something was, something just could not progress there. And I'm hoping that the, the game auto saved, because otherwise we have to do all of that again. And with all that, I mean every mission. Okay, no need to see that again. Uh -oh. Let's see. Campaign. Okay, level 8. We were level 5 at the start. There we go. Okay. Let's actually swap out the <laughs> zoanthrope for the Ravener Brute, since those are faster. Actually, between these, these two are the same value. Zoanthrope is two population more, and the Tyrant Guard is four population more than the Lictor. Okay. Well, the <laughs> again, that was unexpected. Yeah, okay. but also not unexpected. When that thing did happen, I'm not surprised if it crashed, that part. Okay, we've seen all of this. Apparently the hive mind is in agreement that we don't need to see that again. Now, get your lazy asses moving from the impact site. Okay, venom cannons. 
Ooh, and move on. Shredding the demons. Devourer is it, uh... Oh, okay, apparently devourers can get ranged weapons. I thought they were only melee, and this is fast <laughs> they're going. Yeah. And all the other times it took a little bit to kill the demons. But he, they, they were shredded like paper. Yeah, they, they are ambush. Uh, they are ambush uh, assassins. So it, it would make sense for them to have really high DPS. Yeah. Also, and, everything is just moving faster Pyro. now. <laughs> Hello, Pyro. How are you doing? And doing well enough here. Yeah, doing well enough over here. In a calm day. <laughs> okay. Holy crap, that weapon! Just hosed him down with everything. Over several of shots. I thought we had one creature having a massive machine gun. <laughs> nope, it's. Uh... Let's see. It's three. <laughs> okay, I might actually bring them along now. <laughs> uh, from Glacier Boy, no other no crap! <laughs> I did warn you! I did you warn you off stream about the finger cramps. <laughs> okay, I, I used to build models for a time, mostly together with my father. But, uh, yeah, I don't trust my hands to be steady enough to paint things accurately. Uh, I can just imagine you have an easy time to paint a tank... ...over a Warhammer Fantasy figure, but it has way more detail to work with. Yeah. To be I could see you were able to do that, since, well, you paint... You spray paint them in one color, then you just paint the other carpets another. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's grab these as well, since we got low on requisition. But uh, Except... yeah, <laughs> welcome to Dawn of War 2 Retribution, where we've had the first time that the game crashed. Though luckily it auto-saved between missions. Yeah, luckily enough. But that is my favorite. But... It's one of the pros about Warhammer 40k is they are actually easier to paint compared to fantasy. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole lot more of uh, less colors outside of detailing and such. Yeah, like mo most of it is unique color. Like, if you like, like, if you take for example, you paint war, you paint the shame mail, you paint the clothing, the leather, the beard, and everything else. It would be yeah. shaft, all that. But a space marine? Well, most of it's gonna be one color. Yeah. Most of it. Not then all, but... Accent colors. Shadows yeah. and black spaces. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, in a way, 40k is sort of easier to paint. But not at least until you start painting more uh, detailed figures and special yeah. ones. And also, if you want your if you want your figurines to be blue, well, they already start off as that. Uh, um, no. No. It's not as grey. Okay, I, I I got my hands on a few, like a almost sample size thing, and they were made out of blue stuff. Wait, what? This is the first yeah. time I heard of that. That was made of grey plastic. <laughs> okay. And and some of them were made of tin, or was a tin-like material. Because it was hell to paint and glue. Like, a viber model was mostly tin, but the wings were plastic, which made it somewhat easy to glue, but others where you had arms and legs and all of it were made of the same metal. It would occasionally fall off because the glue failed. Same with the paint. And especially since I did the old school Lissaman dinosaurs. Yeah, I don't I think almost... tin is used much anymore for figurines. 
Yeah, for obvious reasons, like the launcher models could... There has been a few times I always dropped a old school Stegadon on my damn foot. Yeah, then and the metal and such, not yeah, too it, it, uh, good to be <laughs> touching constantly. Yeah, here's the thing, it's solid metal. So, and you, you, it, you can handle with your hand and you feel the weight. Drop it on your foot. And you'll feel the weight oh. again. Extremely, and what's it called? Like, if there's someone that are pointing with like with horns, do you lowly farm and truly think to escape? I'm grateful. There scum, we go. Squandering Lord Kairos' gift of a glorious death. May your penance in blood, blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. But, okay. Yeah. You could probably hurt yourself. I think many reason they stopped doing that war. It was expensive to make, expensive to sell, and a pain to paint and assemble. And yeah. of course, a health risk if someone dropped one on you. Uh, of the let's larger see. models. Hmm. Glacier Boy. Well, Chaos Undivided has multiple colors. Uh, yeah, but we were more talking about the base Space Marines and such. Uh, might have been 3D printed resin. Maybe. And look here, I have to paint fire on the pummel of a chain sword. <laughs> oh, that's... That's gonna be tricky! There. Oh dear. Okay, just make Termagants until infinity. And I just realized we don't really have a way to repair buildings. Unless it regenerates. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Now, so far we've always had the units to repair stuff, but not with the Tyranids. Yeah, not Unless... with buildings. We... Like, no, that doesn't work. The tanks, but not buildings. Those are the good repair the turrets. Okay, just keep rising the... <laughs> just how fast the kill counter is going up. Like, already almost at 180. Okay. Okay, why are these lit up when we don't have the population capacity for them? Yeah, look, just done that a few times. It's kind of funny, weird and confusing. Okay, we're short on upgrading the Hive Tyrant, or the Hive Lord. Okay. Hello there, pizza lover. Hello, it's pizza a... lover. Doing Hello. well, and you? Oh, I'm also doing well. Even more termagants. I just realized, is is our high lord in melee? I think he has some um, uh, yep. it just shreds someone to bits. Okay, uh, where's the? Uh, there he is. Okay. Everything focus that fucker down as he just gets it. <laughs> Glory kill off on one of ours. Okay. 
Okay, he's proving to be a bit of a tougher target than previously, I think. I, that's probably because most of our units are all good against infantry, less so heavy infantry. And a bunch are being forced into melee. Oh. Yep. Okay, I was about to ask where he went, but there he is. Patrick's calling down a meteor shower. A rather small one of that. Okay. Uh, we just get the fuck out. Let's see. Pizza. I'm good. Might I ask you guys something as I'm trying to make a kind of important kind of not decision? Um, okay. <laughs> What's going on then, pizza? Let's see. You guys know Harry Potter? Yeah. I've got the books. No, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I'm just... I semi like them as a kid, but I don't really care too much for them now. Yeah, there's also the fact that J.K. Rowling revealed herself to be an absolute bitch. It's... <clears throat> Let's see. Out of all the four houses, which one would you personally like to be in or prefer in or like a lot? Uh, that would be, of course, the stereo. This, uh, there's obviously this, the typical... Uh, <clears throat> Gryffindor that peop most people would probably say. Um, and I'd probably say Ravenclaw more, perhaps. Let's see. Now, of course, each of the houses has their ups and downs. Uh, uh, well, Slytherin often gets depicted as just the bad guys, but that's because... Uh, <laughs> That's because J.K. Rowling may be a good writer, but not an exceptional writer. So, she... <laughs> basically, my idea with Harry Potter is that I prefer what the fans have been uh, able to do with it, uh, just after figuratively yanking it out of her hands, so to speak, because she has been just absolutely terrible with that, with her own work as well. Uh, <clears throat> Anyways. Toronto form causes capillary towers to erupt from the ground, damaging enemies and transforming the area. Provides bonuses to nearby tyrannids. Okay. Those are the capillary towers. Oh, yep. And height of the trigon, extra energy and regen formed in a manner similar to the carapace of the dreaded trigon. The <clears throat> the armored plates generate a biostatic charge that invigorates the hive lord, helping it shrug off injury. Okay, that would be more. That sound makes it sound look like it, more like it's giving health regen, which it doesn't. Let's see, Glacier Boy, yes, later in due to their ambitious streak, less so for the supremacist ideologies. Yeah. It is human nature to seek culpability in a time of tragedy. It is a sign of strength to cry out against fate, rather than to bow one's head and succumb inevitably many shall fault the hands upon the sword which felled typhon the ordo malleus but the inquisition merely performs the duty of its office to further fear them is redundant to hate them heretical those more sensible will place responsibility with those who forced the hands of the inquisition with some fortune, they may foster this hatred into purpose and further rule their own fate by coming to the Emperor's service. Yet ultimately, it was I who set these events into motion with a single blow from my hammer, God Splitter. Also, just that cruise ship that flies past the gun barrel just to show how fucking big it and the shell are. Holy. 
Let's see. Shadow Sighting Talons. Uh, suppress enemy units on hit. 40% chance to do 20 extra damage. These Sighting Talons crackle with psychic energy that induces a pervasive and unrelenting sense of dread in any who come into contact with them. Again, I don't think most... <laughs> I don't think people who would come into contact with most Tyranids up close would live long enough to really undergo the effects that these <laughs> attribute to the stuff. Yeah, and yeah, from what you see, he probably be done with this in the next stream. And mm. do we have enough time to do one more mission? Maybe, I think. Otherwise, we can go a little bit over time. And now we're going to end up here with these. So how we're going to explain that, since technically we're not actually using teleporters. We're using <clears throat> we're using the acid pools to basically dissolve the <laughs> the units and respawn them somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait. Did we were we able, did we level up and get to our new no no level new weapon? Oh damn it. Uh, let's see, pizza, well, I'll be just lurking for now, talking here and then. I assume as you guys are about to hit the two-hour mark, you'd be ending soon. Yeah, soon-ish. We'll still do this level. Let's see, the narrator is not wrong about putting the blame on who is responsible, yeah. Shaken the, sector. the backlash had even disrupted the hive mind. It calmed first on the judgment of Carrion. The hive lord emerged, but it was not surrounded by kin. Contact with the hive mind was severed. The swarms in subsector Aurelia would be rudderless if the hive lord could not renew contact. Deep within the space hulk, though, it sensed the solution an unusually strong zoanthrope, which could pierce the psychic shroud cast over the Aurelian worlds. Okay, now this is actually interesting that they're playing this differently. Yeah, but I don't think you it would be weird if they, if they play like the others. It's also a much smaller... Wait, this, this is the map from the Escort for the, uh, for the loot. Yeah, okay. just... They're not escorting the machine, we're gonna find some... Okay. It did some... we're able to do something here, at least. Yeah, even if it is just swapping out a primary mission uh, with a secondary one, or an optional one. Hmm. But... Also, also there's the... There's also just... <laughs> there's also just the fact that... Uh, Otherwise, for the other factions, they've been teleported onto this place and are looking for a teleporter out with, well, the Orc Mech have used their method of teleportation as a power source. And I don't think uh, one of the digestion pools would work as a power source for teleportation stuff. Okay, can yeah. you actually attack? No, I'm guessing, because you're set to melee. Which, well, a Zoanthrope would not be too good at that, I presume. Zoanthrope Prime! Yep. Actually, can you attack any... No, you cannot attack at all. Okay. At least this, this should be a rather short level still. Okay. Venom Cannons. Hmm. Now it's going to be swarm against swarm. Because we're typically facing quite a lot of enemies during all of these. Okay. One of you go capture that. Hmm. I think we might go with a mixture of troops then. So we can only really bring along one extra uh, capture that one extra squad. Hmm. Uh, 
and even then it's only a swarm of gaunts. Hmm. Let's do Horma Gaunts then, since we don't... Well, we have these for melee, but beyond that, not much. And we'll be facing quite a lot of numbers. Hmm. Renaming you to zero. You to five. Hmm. I'm, I'm presuming they're going there they'll have rebalanced this attack uh, this mission a bit since yeah we just don't have as many heroes to use hmm yeah okay Let's see, we can... wait. Okay. We got an upgrade in the mount there, I think. Or... oh no. The, this one got subtracted because it's not under our control anymore. Okay. Okay, three squads of former guns should be good enough to hold the front line, I'm hoping. Now it's basically just a, a big gang up of everything. So you get your guns then, if we don't need to put you into melee. Hmm. Yeah, they're definitely going easier on us with this. Or there's just the fact that all of our units are so much stronger due to the synapse uh, effects on each other. Like, yeah. we, we have it so that our every attack heals, nearby, uh, heals other nearby uh, Tyranids. So that is also going to be a thing, of course. Totally. Yeah, do it does make sense for Tyranids under a synapse control are usually stronger, deadlier, and more just more devastating than one without. Yeah. Hmm. If we can get enough points, I'm going to call in a Tyranno form to give us even more of a defensive boost. Where are those going? They can't capture those, so... So you lot pull back. Oh, oh. We still had some Hormagons here, or did they just spawn? Yeah, well. Also, it shows those doors opening each time, but I don't think we actually get attacked from this side that much. Also, quickly get back to that. Still doesn't really feel like much fanfare with this, since normally we are coming on into this mission willingly to go looking for loot. Um, here's more of a retrieving a Salem troop that will help us regain control of the other Tyranids. True. Like, I, I'm, I, I'm guessing that. Uh, I'm guessing that the Tyranids of the <clears throat> of the ship here. Also, that works for healing. That 
Yeah, I'm guessing that they've been exposed to the warp for so long that they've basically gone mad. And plus, well, the psychic shockwave from the exterminators also spring with the hive mind's connection and all. Basically, at the moment we are operating on limited broadband, so we only have our squad under control here. Glacier boy, you need to reboot the router for tyranny the internet. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to ring up tech supports. I think that's exactly what we are doing, probably. Yeah, we need to ring tech support, and the zoanthrope prime is the telephone. <laughs> Let's see what this does. Does it doesn't actually make too much sense to be able to use this on his freaking space hulk. Oh, quite some losses. Okay, but our squads are reinforcing because we still have that reinforcing buyer form. Oh. That's the stream timer going off, but let's at least finish the mission off. Should only be a few minutes once we're past this point. Yeah. Unless it's cut it short. Again, what is their interest in this thing? I guess that it's, it, I get that it's a nest of tyrannids, but... They have no impact on it or use of it. They can't recapture it. <laughs> yeah, stuck sneeze. <laughs> oh, and that's level nine. So we can use our new toy. Yes! Okay, and yeah, the, the Zoanthrope Prime takes up quite a lot of population. So you think it's, well, 100. Okay, just one more wave defense. And then we'll be done here. Okay, I, I like that they put in something different from the other factions, but still a bit disappointed that it's basically just an optional mission that they swapped out. Also, melee to the front. Keep them pinned down so the actual damage dealers can, well, deal their damage. Lot all over here. Wait, there's no timer here? Nope. It's out of our control, so the defense is going on. We, we just need to eradicate everything that pops up. And chats, <laughs> pizza lover, I'm, I am the back, and Glacier Boy, you are tech support. <laughs> Yeah, we're ba we're basically debugging the, the hive mind connection whilst we're bugs or buggish. But oh, the pet. Yeah. I'm missing the defeat. So yeah, I got for split so confused. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> the legs are got left behind again. Oh, come on! Uh, the, the left behind Lictor. Yeah, they're all lunars to begin with, but still. Yeah, they. <laughs> oh, poor Lictor. Lictor. <laughs> Okay, that should be the last. 
Yep. Just a single uh, <laughs> venom broods. Okay. Any more narration from Gabriel on this? The zone throat the Hive Lord sought was consumed. With it, contact with the Hive Mind and the approaching fleet was renewed. The shock of the Exterminatus had also revealed to the Hive Mind the true magnitude of the threat posed by Kairos. The realization triggered the spawning of one of the Tyranids' deadliest bioweapons, the Swarm Lord. Insidious and deadly, even among Hive Tyrants, an engine of martial devastation, psychic fury, and the deepest intellect. Ill tidings for the subsector, which hung ever more tenuously on the edge of oblivion. Vigilus! The Swarm Lord, our super heavy creature, super heavy creature. And it increases so, movement speed. So this is our... This is our thing here. Yeah, Daisy? Yep. Actually, let's call it that. Or shall we call it Peach instead? Okay. <laughs> Adrenal exoskeleton, armor, and movement speeds. A biochemical stream runs through the bone pla bony plates and chitinous segments of this exoskeleton, allowing the ponderous limbs of the Hive Lord to compensate for its weight. We have the enhanced muscle curl again and the venom cannon for the Carnifax. We're taking that. Easily taking that. <laughs> okay. And oh. we have an optional on Typhon. Okay. Oh, and Cyrene. Yeah. Yeah. But first, let's get the new uh, toy. Yep. Or was it this one? Let's see. Now, the, the warp corroding is level 10, which is one level away, but we can get this, the, the upgraded strangle thorn one, which deals extra damage to vehicles. Okay. And. Hmm. Now, do we go for this one here? The enlarged sighting talents to increase damage? For well, the Hive Lord and everything in range, or do we go with something that really only is useful in melee? And well, we are we've been going ranged as much as possible, so I think we should go towards inciting and yeah, large sighting talents. Yeah, let's do that for might as well. <laughs> uh, kind of funny that we're actually getting melee units instead of ranged units when we're. Specifically, yeah, specifically going for this before a melee for a range build. Uh, but, kind of honor. Yeah, ne next time it's probably going to be a rather shorter stream of this, though, since after this mission we do get access to the final one. But I guess we that just means that we can move on to the next faction immediately. Oh, <clears> yeah. This is probably e e easier than how to being another game prepared. Yeah. Okay, we'll still have to want. We'll, yeah, we. I still have plenty of games prepared for when we're done with Nefarious tonight, though. But yeah, that'll be it for Dawn of War 2 Retribution for today. So let's move on over here and go look for someone to raid. So close off the projector preview, move this forward, and put the screen share to that. There and there. Now let's see. The, Okay, a lot of people have been streaming when we've been streaming lately, because I'm seeing, let's see, Starnak with Dredge, Reef to Leaf with Tinkertown, a charity stream as well, 3 Jack with Baldur's Gate 3, which won Game of the Year awards, uh, Frog has with Lethal Company, Karen is having a special event, a birthday stream, okay, Route Control 40k, I'm going to take a peek at that. Um, ta -ta -ta. Then we have Rock Raccoon also with Baldur's Gates. Rydian is playing Spider-Man 2. 
Kirin Atsuyoko is playing old school RuneScape. WBPL is streaming Breath of the Wild. Isaiah Rusir is also playing Lethal Company. And then we have Horatius the Dwarf with Dark and Darker again. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Pizza was going to yeah, advise Starnak. <laughs> you going to join in on that? Or shall I take a pick? Wait. It might involve spoilers for the O2 stream dredge again. Yeah, the expansion. I'm going to take a peek. This, yeah, this is, this looks like late game of the normal, not the expansion because that's in an ice region, and this is looking like the volcanic area. Yeah, actually, he yeah. has one of the items from the, for the lost areas quests. So we go raid them. Is it a them or the one that I'm about to play something for the K related? This would also be kind of fitting. Yeah, let me take another peek at that. Is it for uh, crowd control 40K? Can't. Yeah, they're in their pre stream, so it's hard to say. They could be going for Dark Tides or maybe Tabletop or something, because I see something of that in the background. Though that could just be something they have running for the shit of it. Okay, let's go to Starnak then. Okay, copy name. Yeah, wait, wait. Let me just double check it for a second. Uh, okay, how did they go from how did they go from the volcanic area to the cliffs area that quickly? Or did I just miss? Uh, I I probably misidentified it. Maybe there was some sort of uh, effect going on. Oh well. The, Let's go rate them all the same, slash rate and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover. Thank you, Glacier Boy. And thank you, Pyro Sue as well. And as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching. And yeah. Later today, in a bit under three hours, we'll be start. Well, not be starting. We'll be continuing with Nefarious to get the good ending. Uh, I have to look. It's not shouldn't be too long, so we probably will be starting a new game as well then. And yeah, I have plenty ready. But you wanted to do a Parthion? Yeah, for that one, I've been curious for so long and had troubles finding videos of her for quite a long time. <laughs> okay, a, a Parthion it'll be then. But for now, let's see, Peach Lover, remember to stay hydrated. Fun chatting to you. See you soon. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm the streamer here. You don't need to sign off. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> let's get that rate started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. An hour later, and until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone, and watch out for Swarm Lady Daisy. <laughs>